going to prep Taylor right here on stage. And while we're doing that, we're going to welcome up uh, teacher number 81 to this stage to perform a poem. Please welcome to this stage, James Miranda! So, so this will be the fun part where it, uh, I get to roast Taylor. Uh, I'll be the only one saying anything not totally nice about him, but it's all in love. And he asked me to be here, so. <laughs> so uh, this poem is a parody of What Teachers Make. It is entitled, What Taylor Does, or Protest Committee Be Damned, or in the movie, He'll Be Played by John Malkovich. <laughs> He says the problem with being coached by Taylor Molly is what lesson is a poet going to learn from Taylor that isn't simply be Taylor Molly? <laughs> Taylor Molly, Taylor Molly, Taylor Molly. <laughs> it reminds the others at the bar that it's true what they say about slam poets, those who can make a team and those who can't retire. <laughs> Taylor Molly, Taylor Molly, Taylor Molly. <laughs> I decide to bite his tongue instead of mine and resist the temptation to remind him that motherfucker wouldn't even know about slam poetry if it wasn't for Taylor Molly. Yeah, I built this house. <clears throat> I mean, that's very disrespectful, James. Because we're at a poetry reading after all and this is polite conversation. I mean, really, Taylor, you don't slam that often. Tell me something. What do you do? <laughs> and I wish he hadn't done that asked me to tell him something because you see I have this policy about being asked to speak. If you ask me to do it, I already have a speech prepared. You want to know what I do? I make, the ho I make the host at open mics work harder than they ever thought they would. I make a 6.7 feel like a MacArthur genius grant and a 9.6 feel like a slap in the face when I point out that Reeves, would do, well, Reeves was doing that poem and better 10 years ago. I make the audiences sit through 10 minute sets on the open mic, only one of which is a poem. The, ha the other half is a song I composed at dinner last night, the rest being the time it takes to teach the audience to sing it with me. Sing. Did you ever know, do you ever know that you're my hero? Did you ever know that you're... No, I will not leave this stage until you have sung my song. I make audiences tremble in fear when I call into the Bowery Poetry Club right around 8 o'clock. Hello, this is Mr. Molly. I hope I haven't called at a bad time. I was just staring at the sunset here in Belize and I had to weep at the notion of my own mortality as life slowly revolves towards its eventual twilight. And it quite reminded me of exactly how desperate and gorgeous it is that I exist. I will not, being do I will not be doing a poem. I just wanted you all to know I'm awesome. <laughs> you want to know what I do? I win four national poetry slams. I go to Guatemala to learn Spanish. I make poets wonder. I make them question. I make them criticize, but never me. I make them end every poem with a rhyming couplet. I make them recite like or as simile, like or as simile, like or as simile, until they will never describe the phrase, you are like a slow sipped whiskey as a metaphor ever again. I need you to understand that if you're like me, that you already have this, but you do this. If someone ever gives you shit for what you do, you give them this, and now this. Let me lay it out for you clearly so you can plainly see my name is Taylor Molly. Difference makes a goddamned me. <laughs> James Miranda, everybody.